All right, what's up, everybody? You are gonna hang out with me today. This is, we're heading to qualifying here at Kansas, walking out the back of the hall. We're gonna try to catch up with the guys that are around the corner, pushing the car out to the grid. We'll see who we run into, have some conversations, talk about Kansas, talk about racing, racing moments. But uh, come on, let's go. We're going out 11th today for qualifying, so. With this new style, we've changed it again. We're back to single car qualifying in NASCAR in the Cup Series. It was kind of cool the first time we did it at Dover. It kind of brought some nostalgia back. I had never done it, but I'd always watched single car qualifying. Um, I think I did do it in the Truck Series, but I never did in the Cup Series. It's kind of cool to have the pressure where everybody's watching you. It's great for our sponsor, for Geico, um, to have that one single lap where everybody's watching you. It puts the pressure on you not to mess up. Um, it's going to be a little bit different here at Kansas. I'm pretty sure we're going to be wide open if our car is handling good. Uh, but it's going to be pretty uh, pretty cool, and hopefully we can burn up a good lap here for sure. But we'll just keep digging. Truck driver. Best truck driver in, in the garage. Yeah. Um, this is my father-in-law, Daryl. Keep him around for entertainment purposes. <laughs> it's my golf coach. Not necessarily my racing coach. My nutritionist. We just had burgers. <laughs> How's it going, man? Come on, you want to get on YouTube? NASCAR YouTube? What's your name? Marcos. Marcos? Are you going to be a race car driver? Yeah. Are you going to beat me? Yeah. All right, I got you. Nice to meet you, Marcos. Can you get some knucks? Can you get a photo for your dad? There you go, man. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. You guys are on NASCAR YouTube, so. <laughs> doing? doing good. What's your name? Joel. Joel. Marty Vanderhead. Nice to meet you, guys. For you, really? Yeah, that, awesome. Yeah. With Geico? Scott Whitehead. Oh, awesome. Cool. Yeah. Scott works at our shop. Shout out to Scott. What's up? <laughs> That's cool. So. Typically, you would think this is a really nostalgic moment when you're walking out before qualifying. You know, F1 glorifies this moment, but it's pretty chill. It's pretty, uh, you know, low key most of the time. But uh, you got all the truck pit stalls set up. These guys are all getting ready for their race tonight. Our goal is to qualify in the pole. There's Bob Parker's doing an interview. Our job is to hopefully sit on the pole tonight and we can get the first pit stall, but if not, we want to get a good stall where we have either an opening in or an opening out. So when I come down pit road, I'm not worrying about coming around somebody's pit crew and trying to miss people. And it's really key with, with the way races shake out now to every tenth matters. So you don't want to come in crooked where your guys have to run out further to pit your car. You want them to be running to the same spot every single time. So that's a really uh, big job that we get graded on actually every week at our shop that they're making sure that we're in the right spot when we pull in our pit stall. So if they can, if we can help it out in qualifying day to get a good pit selection, that always helps. And then these lines that are painted here on the track, these are the speed lines. Um, they're segmented all the way down pit road for those who know and don't know. And those are what qualify our times going down pit road as far as if we're speeding or not. And we study those too. So Monday I get graded on that. And we, there's an overall spreadsheet that shows where I ranked. I haven't been overly great at it this year. We've been a little bit conservative on our pit road speeds. We want to make that's a, a conscious effort as far as me as a driver, um, trying to get better at being fast all the way down pit road, my entry speeds and exit speeds, and um, getting better. And hopefully we don't speed. We've had a couple speeding penalties this year. We don't want any of those. We'd rather be a little bit slow on pit road than speed. But uh, you want to maximize all your time you can. We're gonna walk up here and maybe talk to some of our teammates, our crew members. Maybe we'll do a little interview on them. See what they're doing. Let's go start with uh, who I call the old man, Mike Chase, or Mr. Monopoly. We'll come check him out. He's a shock specialist, Chase. We're doing a YouTube channel. Don't say all the bad things that you usually say about me on the YouTube channel. Um, I'm, I'm coming to interview you, so tell me a little bit about yourself. Tell, tell the YouTube people on NASCAR your racing background, your career. 
Oh, my career goes a long way. I'm an old <laughs> <laughs> I started racing back when my daddy raced super modifies back in the late 60s, and then from there progressed on up the ladder, did stock cars, and went further on. Ended up winning the Winston West title, moved back east, and, and everything all put together, I've won seven championships, and I'm in three Hall of Fames. And I get to work with Ty Dillon, of all things. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> this is who I lean on right here in the hauler. When we're having a bad day or a good day, he helps me out. So we got a lot of experience on our team, and uh, this is one of the best ones at it. So he's the one that's responsible for the ride of my race car and make sure it's good. So he's our shock specialist, Mike Chase. We got Tracy and Billy. These guys would butt in on their conversation. What are you guys talking about? This is NASCAR YouTube, so your family's going to see this. We pitted cars. Fuel. Yeah. Change. Carry. Drive. Yeah. That's what I used to do when you guys. What do you guys think you can bust off right now, pit stop wise? No stretching. Oh, you are? Doing the trucks tonight? So tune in if this gets posted. Truck series. What truck are you guys doing? Three. Three truck. Best pit stops on pit road for sure. What about you, Trav? Did you ever do pit stops? Yeah. What'd you do? Jackman. Jackman. Best Jackman on pit road. Are you doing it tonight? Oh, I got you. Well, this is the, the I don't know what we'll call them, flying geckos on pit road for the truck series. Well, we're in non-windy, windy Kansas City, and that's typically an issue here is the wind, but it's pretty stale which is good, I think. As you can tell, I don't really know what to say. Um, we'll, we'll interview Jeff Kirkendall. He's our engineer. What do you think, Jeff? What, what are we looking like today? I think we'll be okay, as long as you do your part. That was an okay, folks. <laughs> uh, where does okay line up on the grid? Uh, right now, I'd be happy with the top 20. I agree. I think, it's, I think we took some big swings at it. This guy had to burn up his fingers on the computer pretty tough but uh, I think he's going to have it dialed in for us. I hope so. Yeah. Top 20. That's what we're looking for. That'll be a good start, and then we'll, then we'll finish in the top we'll 10. There, yeah. Yeah, that's right. We've got to have a little room to grow. Can't start first every weekend, you know what I'm saying? Well, I'll give you a little tour of my office. This is the office. This is Coon Dog. Big Carolina Hurricanes fan, like myself. They're gonna win. They're gonna win Sunday, right? Oh yeah, Boston's they're in deep trouble. They just don't know it yet. Yep. Season ticket holder. Uh, that gecko does not ride along with us every weekend. He just rides down pit road when we're pushing. And this is not my giant steering wheel. This is what the guys use just to push the car out, so they're not bending my precious little steering wheel because uh, it's so delicate and sweet. Um, but this is this is my office. We got a lot of stuff going on in there. The digital dashes are cool. Um, ours is not currently on, but uh, there's a lot going on in there, more than people realize. This is my helmet hose that, that circulates air for me. It's not necessarily always the coolest, but it's better than 130 degrees. You, you want to have something that's a little bit different. Um, and there's also a carbon monoxide filter built into the head uh, AC unit so that we're not breathing in straight fumes. Um, so. I appreciate you guys coming to hang out. Um, the final question I want to answer uh, is a greatest NASCAR moment for me. Um, I would say probably my most proud moment in NASCAR was this year, um, winning a stage in the Monster Energy Cup Series with our Geico Camaro at Bristol. That stage win was so big uh, for our race team, for our sponsor, for myself, just massive confidence. And then to back it up again at the Geico 500 and win another stage, and we won two stages. Not many drivers have done that. I don't think anybody expected our team to do that. But I'm very proud of our team, very proud of our program. Kansas practice was a little slow for us, but we feel like the race is going to be great. Thank you guys for hanging out with me on the pit road walk and taking 10 minutes of your time to chill with us on the GEICO team. Thanks.